Okay, intermediates, let's get started. It is Thursday's workbook. So remember, when you write your name, you're always going to start at the top skyline and bring it down to the grass line and back up to the plain line. The plain line is that middle line with little tiny dashes lines. The rest of the letters in my name fall underneath the plain line. So this first page, we are actually working with curved lines. We're getting so much practice with them. Start at the dot, drag and draw a curved line. It's like making a rainbow. Look at that. Touch the dot, draw up and drag it down to the finish dot. There's two dots. Start at this dot, drag it up and finish at that dot. Hit the dot and drag it, push down to the next dot. This is the best way to continue practicing how to make curved lines, which will help you to make ovals, which will help you to make circles and help you to draw faces soon. Great work. All right, the next page we have numbers. We have six here, we have seven, we have eight. Right here, we start at the skyline, drag it down to the grass line, loop it in up to the plain line. Skyline, grass line, loop to plain line. Skyline, grass line, loop to plain line. Let's see the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have a seven. Skyline, drag it out on the skyline, diagonal line down to the grass line and stop. Skyline, pull it out on the skyline, drag it down, diagonal line to the grass line. Skyline, drag it over, down to the grass line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have this, a circle, bring it down like an S, and then go back up. Touch the dot, go up to the skyline, drag it down like an S to the grass line, loop it back up. That is an eight. Great work with eight. It is a tricky number, but it's pretty easy once you start practicing. Now we need to take a look at animal babies. Here is a mother cow. Which one is the mama and the baby? This one right here, the baby cow. Here is the hen. We talked about hens. Which is the baby chick? This one. You can tell because the beak looks like the mama's. Here is a horse. Which is the baby horse? Right here, of course. Excellent job. The next video, uh, next page is the letter Y. Y is for Yorktown, the best. Start at the skyline, down to the plain line, back up to the skyline and line down. Skyline, plain line, back up to the skyline and back down. Skyline to plain line, back up to skyline and down. Skyline to plain line, back up to skyline, touch the meeting point, drag it down. Skyline to plain line, back up to skyline, touch the plain line and drag it down to the grass line. Great work. Now we have the numbers. One, two. Let's find the number one. Which box has one thing in it? Right here, the shell. One shell, one. Connect the dot to the dot. Here is the number two. Which box has two things in it? One, two, right here. Here is a three. What has three things in it? One, two, three buckets. They go together. Now let's trace the four. What has four things in it? One, two, three, four. What is this number? Five. Down, around, and over the top to make the number five. One, two, three, four, five. 
That has five. We draw a line. Great matching. Here we have the maze. We must start at the top where the ducks are and get them down here. Let's start, stay on those dots, drag, come down, drag on top, slide down, drag across and slide down. Excellent work. You did such a great job with your sheets. Here's the other one, the last sheet. We need to put these in order. First, the dog is running and the girl must throw the ball. First, in ordinal numbers, is one. Next, after the girl throws the ball, the dog has to chase it. That's next, two. And last, the dog catches it. That is three. Down here, we need to see what happens first. Well, the girl sees a flower. It's still connected to the grass. That's one. Next, the girl plucks the flower from the grass. That's here. Next is two. Draw a two. And last, she blows the fuzzies off and they float away. Now there's nothing left. Last is three. Draw a three in the circle. Remember, you can always hit pause and follow along. You can always rewind. You did a fantastic job on the Thursday workbook. We'll see you tomorrow for the Father's Day workbook.